What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to create a city view with clouds inside of your rendering. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So right now I'm kind of on a kick where uh, I'm, I'm looking at images that get posted on like Lumion's website or other websites like that with different effects that they've created and trying to figure out how they're creating those different effects. So if there are effects that you'd like to see, maybe images, something Thing like that um, you know you can try to link to something in the comments down below I don't know how well that'll work but uh, you could also send me a tweet at easy renders on Twitter and uh, if, if you see something you just can't figure out how it's been created uh, let me know and maybe I can take a look at it but in this case what we want to do is we want to create basically a top-down city view so kind of like this one but we want this top-down city view to have clouds flying across it so kind of like lower clouds something like that so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a looking down view of that sort of thing so I've brought in this piece of Denver using the open street map integration and I will link to a video about how to do that in the notes down below but what we want to do for now and I'm probably gonna break this up into two videos um, the first one I'm gonna show you how to create a still image with clouds inside your rendering so to, to do that we're gonna go into photo mode and the first thing we're gonna do when we get into photo mode is we're gonna load a preset and so we'll just go ahead and start a new one and I'm just gonna click over here and I'm gonna go ahead and store my camera and then I'm just gonna go into this style and for now I'm just gonna use the realistic style that gives us kind of a good starting point um, of something that we can build off of and so what we want to do is we want to start off by adding the Sun effect so that it gives us some more control over the way the light looks in this because we've got kind of a like like a sunset type thing going on and uh, that's fine it's not really what I want in this image though so we're gonna start by going into our effects and in the first section you're gonna click on Sun and this isn't really gonna work with the uh, with the uh, real skies so you're probably gonna have to do this more with the uh, Sun settings in here the real skies kinda overrides a lot of this and so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of adjusting how bright this is I want this to look like kind of a bright sunny day in here something like this is maybe a little bit better than what we had in there before um, you might turn the brightness down a little bit it feels a little overexposed but that's kind of a opinion thing but what I want to do is now that I have the Sun in here and I have this set up the way that I want um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into my effects and under weather and climate we're gonna click the button for volume clouds what volume clouds does is that allows you to actually simulate clouds inside of your model in real 3D. And so one of the cool things about this is if you look at it, these clouds are actually casting real shadows in your model. So you can see how you can see these, and these render a lot smoother than the way they look right now. This is more of a preview mode, but you can see how those are actually casting shadows on my actual model based on where they're located and so these are all adjustable you can adjust them as much or as little as you want you can adjust the amount slider you can also adjust the height and you need to be a little careful with something like this um, just because you've got some kind of taller buildings in here and you can definitely have this kind of intersect with those buildings in this case I want them to just be slightly above um, as much as possible just because I don't want to deal with those intersections right now and then other things you can adjust are things like softness so like how soft the clouds are going to be or how hard the edges are going to be and then you can also and then the other thing I want to focus on is I want to focus on the position because you can see how I can actually adjust the position of these clouds using this slider so I can kind of place those wherever I want so um, depending on like what I want to focus on or what I want to highlight you can see how I can use this to kind of place those clouds at any point that I want inside of this rendering and I'm gonna adjust the amount down I want there to be just kind of enough that you kind of see it in here but not so much that it's super distracting so and you can just kind of play around with this until you get the look that you want maybe something like this 
So you can see how this particular piece is kind of a trial and error piece. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna do a color correction. So I'm gonna go into my colors. Color correction is actually already in here. And I just wanna adjust that color temperature down a little bit, because I feel like this is a little bit yellow, which is okay if that's what you're going for. If you're going for like a, um, a scene where maybe the sun's a little lower or something like that. I want this to have a little bit cooler colors in here. So I'm gonna adjust that so the temperature is down a little bit. So once you've done all of this, once you've kind of applied this effect to the image that you wanna create, you can go in and you can render your photo. So when you render your photo, you're gonna do the same thing you always do, where you just select the, um, you select the resolution that you want, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna render that. So you can see how that's gonna come in here and that's actually gonna render this out and it looks really good with the clouds in here and it's really easy to add these. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to create an animation where the clouds move across your screen inside of Lumion. So leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Did you find this helpful? Have you done anything like this with Lumion before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.